Oh, that's not nice. There we go. Hopefully that should be working. There it goes. Neat. We up? Yes, we are. Who's echoing? Is it me? No. All right. So again, we take up with our heroes. Question mark. As they exit, do you folks ever decide which way you wanted to go? I think we decide. We decide the short, the short way, or the long way rather, with less climbing. All right. The uh, less lifting azalea over boulders. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we can't just do some, some some dwarf tossing? No, we can't do dwarf tossing because I'm not a dwarf. I know. Nobody I so tosses a dwarf. Thank you. But we can chuck a cup we can we can chuck a halfway. <laughs> Alright, so you guys proceed out of the way from camp. As you guys are leaving uh, the, the the village, the people uh People are saying goodbye. They're making a fanfare. They're, they're, you know, they're, 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 they're you know, every once in a while somebody will come up. You know, they're throwing, um, they're like, they're like waving their garments in the air, and the, every once in a while they'll like wave some flowers in the air, and they'll, they'll still get by you. Some people will press like some flowers or a little bit of fruit to you, and. Uh, Azalea will gladly like take flowers and is just really excited about flowers. I know it's but great. also is somewhat uncomfortable by the attention. Oh yeah, that's great. You know somebody you know somebody, somebody, somebody presses a jug of goat milk into your hands. Is it from a goat that ate their balls? <laughs> <laughs> it ate its own balls. <laughs> are we actually up? Yes. Can't see it. I was I don't even care what you guys are doing. I was like, I need to get out of the apartment. Um, I don't see the live stream. Um. Oh, she's good. She's good now. Says so she got it. Sorry, interrupt. What? All right, because I'm definitely live, and somebody needs. Know. Yeah, there you go. And somebody needs to get out of the apartment. That's all we know. <laughs> that is our wonderful uh, barbarian drunk barbarian friend from before. Oh. Good. Oh. Who was that again? Sam. Sam Lemur. Oh. Oh. oh! I thought his voice sounded familiar. <laughs> Alright, so. As you guys are heading out of town, the sun off to your right begins to just start to grow piercing. It grows hotter and hotter and hotter as you come down. From the oh, sort of the rise, as you come around, uh, ar around the little rock pinnacles that you would climb on the way back, and you climb past the the hills and the dunes where you had uh, when you originally hid from the Flynn's. and the the Flynn guards walk you with you this far. They walk with you out to the to the start of the proper open desert. <coughs> And you just behold this great wide open. You can see in the distance. You see in the distance that there is nothing. There is just distance. Just the just the glitter of sand going on and on and on out into the fresh morning sun and it is baking do all of you have shoes oh, yes <laughs> okay all right the, the the head guard very well head north second and uh, they will they, and they will salute you as you meander off. First place. I'll say, I will we'll tell them thank you very much for the escort. Sure thing. Alright, so the head of the guards tells you that it's, that it's going to take you about, it's going to take you about 
a day or so to get to the first to get to the first Arava. And the and you should be able to get to the second one pretty soon after. Okay. So so what are you guys going to do? So I mean what are you guys gonna do? Stop for eleven please? <laughs> I'm always open for food, but we have very we have limited supplies. So unless we brought something extra from breakfast, I really don't think that that would be a very good idea. I was joking. Oh. And she'll take out a biscuit from her pocket that she swept from breakfast and eat <laughs> as she walks. Mara's gonna look a little bit jealous, but she'll be subtle about it. All right. So you folks. I was just saying, like, if Azalea sees it, she'd share. It's like living in an oven. Is this Isn't it hotter than the other part of Jalbar? Was it? Is this significantly hotter than the other parts of Jalbar? No. In in that you know that the Great Central Desert is worse. And you know that sort of like the, the sort of like the great central desert of Jalbar before it goes into the broken plains up towards Stereos. That's even more unfriendly. That is nobody lives there. That 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 is alien. You're on the right side of the mountains. For it not to be horrible, and and you know that a little bit further over, that like a little bit beyond this, there's going to be jungle. So like there's like this sort of this swath of desert. And then there's rainforests beyond that. You would you would definitely know this. I mean, you know, you're 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 an educated member of society. Um, having said, you know, in the middle of this country, it's it's like living on the moon. It's like nobody lives out in the center of Jalbar. So you. you're welcome. So it's it's still a hot desert, but it's not the hottest of the two hot deserts. So, uh, as you continue heading north, against your right cheeks, from the desert, you were all hit again with a gust of wind out of nowhere. It just it has been dead calm. It has been no pond still all day. Just the sun beating down on your brows. Do you again that feel this? That happened last night. Why is it suddenly windy? So that, that was really Desert hot. winds are hot and dry? But it is not it hasn't been blowing at all all day. It's and a cool all of a sudden, wind. I don't know, maybe we should just be grateful for the breeze. It felt kinda nice. I go um, around and see if I can find any source. Amari is sure. going to roll and is gonna you try guys, and... you guys can make perception I roll better this time. Can, Amari is a yeah. druid last I'd say. It's only a thirteen. Can I make a nature check? Yeah, you could certainly try. Ooh, not bad, not Felix bad. isn't gonna bother. For all he knows, there could be someone forty feet away with a fan, and he wouldn't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one. I mean, you know that desert wind does spring up suddenly. I mean, it's the desert. Weather happens strange, and it happens quick. I mean, you live. You grew up in the rainforest. Thunderstorms come out of absolutely nowhere. What the heck is this DC? Uh, you, I mean, you know, I mean, you certainly know that winds come out of the desert all the time, but that doesn't really explain it being a cool wind. Why is it cool? It's the middle of summer in the desert. What was the, what's, what direction did it come from? The east. It comes from the east. That's your right. The east wind is coming. Nobody is going to get that reference. <sighs> okay, so 
Yeah, also the fact that we are that it's coming from the east would mean that it's either coming from off the sea, which would be a long way away, or it's coming somehow and not being blocked by the mountain that we just walked away from. That is concerning. Do I have detect magic as a spell? I don't know. Did anybody make a perception check besides? I didn't make a perception okay, check. No. But I'm not gonna call it. I assume I saw nothing. You saw nothing. You heard nothing. You. You breathed nothing. You you you. you I was rolling very very averagely. Today. You 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 looked around and there is no track or sign of life other than thou in the trackless wilderness. Maybe we should wait for a moment and see what happens, and then I can cast detect magic, but I can only do it so many times a day. I mean, do you guys really think something's wrong? I don't know. Okay. Does the wind... So the wind doesn't make sense. It should not be cool out in the desert. And it's just... It's very sudden. It just doesn't quite make sense. Maybe it's the coming down off of the mountain we just came from. I, I don't know. I have this weird... I have a very... Str I have a strange kind of sort of connection to nature. And this does not seem quite natural. I mean, it feels like a natural wind, but it doesn't. It doesn't seem normal. The wind dies out at this point. How long was it blowing for? Was it continuously blowing? No, it was only blowing for about five, ten seconds. Okay. I mean, either way, I'm grateful it happened because that felt really nice. It is hot out here. Yeah. Tends to be that way here in Java. It's disgusting. I'm. Sorry, I thought it didn't mean to offend you, but Not it's fine. Is, um, you get used to it after a long time, but yeah, it, it, it's... How long have you been here? 40 years or so. That's a very long time. It's a while. Is Stuko weirded out by the wind at all? Mm, you know Stuko well enough. Stuko seems very uncomfortable with it. It, 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 it seems oddly enough, so what you see with Stuko, Stuko at first kind of pulls back, and then sort of veers off from you. Not quickly, but very slowly, just sort of walks off to the right and just sort of stares into the okay. stairs, stares north, northeast. Just dead stares. Just stops, sits in the sand, and stares okay. dead north, northeast. Okay, guys, that is not normal. Stuko does not stare at things unless it's something that he wants to eat. He's a cat. But Don't it's they only all if just it's something. Stare at things? But it's only if he wants to eat something. If it's something he wants to eat, which Stuko doesn't usually want to eat the wind. So you think there's something causing the wind? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna walk over to Stuko. What's going on? You can feel the fur on the back of Stuko's neck is raised. If something is wrong, then we should leave. If something is not wrong, we should continue traveling. Either way, why are we staying? It's actually a good question. You don't have a point. <laughs> I'm gonna stroke Stuko's ears. Should we go? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think we should go? My boy. Yeah. I'm gonna scratch my Do we, Should we go that? Should we go that way or go a different way? Felix is going to a side to send me. She's a crazy cat lady. <laughs> I heard that. I am not. I'm just crazy, and I like one cat. I don't usually like. Uh, that. I don't know why I ended up with a cat. You can speak with animals, correct? Uh, um, I have wild empathy. I don't. You know, so you, I, wild empathy doesn't allow me to no. speak with. I can't do that until later. Yeah, so the cat kind of looks at you and it doesn't seem to quite know what you're asking, and then all of a sudden it goes and it like squirms away from you and kind of like it runs over a few paces, like it like it like it kind of just like runs back to actually it runs to Azalea and like jumps on Azalea, like not aggressively, it's like jumps on Azalea. And at that moment, you feel the ground beneath you shake. Uh, like, for the sake of... For the sake of the sound and the feeling, it's like when you're standing in a grate above the subway. 
Felix is gonna scream. Uh, <laughs> yes, she, yes, she <laughs> and is gonna yank out her rapier. Azalea will hold and on to will attempt the to cat hide as best she can. Azalea will just hold on to the cat and presumably her fox who was nearby. So she will just you did hold not the animal. Gun comes out. <laughs> Felix is gonna start running as fast as he can. What direction is this noise coming from? It was coming from underneath you, and now Guys? it's gone. Which way did it go? It went back towards the northeast. Towards the town? No, not no, away from the town. So you guys, so the town is southwest of you. You guys are here going north, and the cat looked that direction, and that's the same direction the noise went. Which way did it start? Which way did it come from? It seemed to come from the east and then go like, it seemed to go like this. But like I'm owing my studies of anything that might cause that kind of rumbling. Sure, make a nature check. Jesus. Can I do the You're same? In jail. A, a survival You're in jail. A survival check could also be appropriate. Well, Wait, what natural kind of four isn't going to do anything for me. What kind of check could it be for, like, if it had been studied or read about? Survival, nature... 22. Well, ju uh, just, Harley, justify what check you want to make to me. Can Francis make a survival check? Francis can okay. make a survival check. Um, my guess is it would be if I'd, like, heard or read anything about something that would make this kind of effect... Felix is still running. Sure. DC will be higher, but I'll let you do it. Uh, all right. Okay. Felix is running to the hills. I rolled 22 for nature. 22 for nature. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, Francis rolled uh, quite well, too. So, um, which is funny, because I don't think I put any ranks into nature. Okay, so... Um, 25. Okay, okay. So 25 is... Um, and what'd you roll, Ethan? I got, like, an 8. So, um, Amari, your first thought is you know that in the desert, there are a lot of creatures that burrow and tunnel to stay out of it. Like, your, your first thought is the two that you immediately think of. You think of, well, you know bullets do this. You also know purple worms do this. It had to be big. It was very big, as a matter of fact. How do you spell bullet? I'm just trying to... B-U-L-L-E-T. B-U-L-E-T-T-E. Yes. Yeah, it's the second one. Yeah. Purple worm as in W-O-R-M or W-E-P? Yep. First one, okay. yes. I promise I'm not looking things up. I'm just trying to keep track of notes. I will voice this to the group. Both of those things are bad. Let's move. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I would like to go away ahead from this. He's screaming and running the whole time. Be like... Did He's I also far anything? enough that he can no longer see us. Felix, wait! Felix, make a uh, make a constitution save. Or a fortitude save, rather. I'm gonna Gosh. book it after Felix to try to get him to stop. Cousin, did I think of anything? Oh, uh, so, uh... Uh, you, you are going to tell the story about how there, there was a famous adventuring party that was sent from a university. It was a, uh, it was, they were sent from a, uni they were sent from a, uh, an academy in Stereos, and they went to uh, explore some ancient ruins that they had discovered in uh, Jalbar, back when Jalbar was uh, still weak, when they, before they had become a, you know, a real power. And they had been warned not to go in, and it was said that everybody except their native guide was eaten in one go by a giant purple worm. Oh, no. So, in conclusion, can we go now? <laughs> I would like to leave and I would like gonna, to like, leave. hold the two animals and start walking. <laughs> but I'm holding them kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. They left a marker where they presumably all died, so that it would be remembered for ages to come. Wait, how did they leave a marker if they all died? They didn't even die. The okay. one guy who lived. Freedom. The one guy who lived that's it. Freedom University. 
Oh my gosh, we need to have just like really bad knockoffs of all of our schools. <laughs> See, that's fair. So, so as you guys are heading north, uh, Felix. Wait, 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 was this university to the east, perhaps? What? Were they sent from a man from the east, saying East Man University? Oh. <laughs> uh... Man East. <laughs> What? Man East. I Man the Eastman. <laughs> or maybe Easter. Oh, wait, I thought you went to... Wait, no, you're in Rochester. I'm really stupid. Eastman is technically a part of the University of Rochester, even though we have a different campus and start and end at different times. Okay. It That's makes wild. it very fun to be doing degrees on both campuses. It's like... It's like banner, different everything. Else. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like Eastman is to... East, East, Eastman is to Rochester what... Saturn was to GM. Um, oh. No. That yes. Took me a second to realize <laughs> we were talking about the planet. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah. What? It was like, what does GM have to do with planets? More like, no, 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 just no. <laughs> so yeah. Cool. Anyway, Azalea's gonna walk away, like cradling the animals as if they're like her safety blanket, and walking away. Oh, the, wants to go back, but Stuka, Stuka, like ben you're, you're looks at her brother and goes, "This is why I don't travel." The fox is okay yes. with it, but Stuka is not so okay. The Stuka's just sticking arms and legs straight out as you're hugging him. Can, can I have my cap? Stuka runs faster if you let oh. him go. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. I will. Azalea's gonna continue holding Todd, which is the fox's name. We should probably run. I probably. We all right, so, I'm run. so I was imagining I was running. I just said walk by accident. All right, so as you guys are running, this goes uh, for those of you who are in um, the back. So uh, you guys in the back, yeah. nobody is in the back now. Oh, that's right. So as you guys are running, you start to hear or the sound of a rising rumble. From behind you, you will see double the time, sand. The sand starts to shake and get kicked up in the air. Wait for me! I have little legs. <laughs> you watch as you watch as the sand starts to build up around Azalea, getting closer and closer and closer and getting louder. <laughs> and at that moment, you hear a. And then the sound gets quieter, and quieter, and quieter. I'm gonna run back and grab Azalea. Azalea's still there. Like, Azalea. Yeah, I was. I was gonna say like as I was running, I wanted to pick Azalea up by like the back of the shirt <laughs> and just football carrier, just run. What is your strength? Not enough, but I wanted to try. So you look, and Azalea is just covered head to toe in sand and dirt. But she's still standing there, and you see almost like this, like, almost like this reverse, like, almost like this little divot in the sand, like, right up to almost where she was. And there's almost like a little crater where she's standing. Okay. We should Can run. I Grab Azalea and go. Can I, can I running? The divot is, if you lay down on your back... Mm-hmm. You could probably get another half of you on top of you inside that divot. That's a big ass worm. Let's run away now. Wait, how <laughs> deep is the divot that I'm in? Oh, it's not. It's not very deep. It's just. It's okay. more of a sand disturbance. Okay. So as everybody is running, I would like to diverge a bit and run so that I end up about. 40, 30 to 40 feet to the right of the party, if I can. Mm -hmm. And I want to take my gun, my noise maker that I made mm -hmm. off of my back, like it was attached to my, like hanging off my pack. I want to take yes. it, like crank it up and put it down against the sand and mm -hmm. set it off. And then I want to run uh, uh, even further away from the party, like by this point, sixty feet away, and crank it up, and then make noise against the sand again. Okay, so Would you. Would I know if the if the worms hunt by sound or like by vibration? Well, yeah. either way, the vibrate would make. Vibration, you you, so. you you rolled you rolled a twenty-two, correct? Yeah. 
Uh, you, you, you know from ancient legend that they hear your footsteps. They sense your heartbeat. Would they come after us if they hear that? So would like a loud noise attract them or scare them away? I mean, they're none too bright that if you, you know of, this, if this is what you think it is. If you say this, I may be able to help. So, Ethan... And Dr. Amari probably wouldn't say anything unless you thought it was a bad idea. After you do this, you see... You feel... And you see, it, and, it, and you start to see this sand getting kicked up, and you watch as it all of a sudden like rips a circle, like around. You see, it cooks in like a almost like a corkscrew circle around the first uh, sound that you made, and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and then you hear a woof, <laughs> and. At uh, this third one, you see just, you see, you hear a shit, this is where the ground actually shakes very, very hard. Uh, can you all make a uh, reflex save to not be knocked over? Alright. There we go. Oh, I'm <laughs> rolling really well. Sucked. 22. 1. That's bad. 18. 11. No, 19. Okay. I can do oh, basic math, here. you guys. He won. 21. I rolled a 19. Nice. Oh, sorry, 3. I rolled a natural 17. It's great. Okay, everybody, everybody who rolled below a 15 is knocked down. Yeah, I got a 1. So, so Felix is down, Francis is down. I got a 3. All right, and just for and you just see <clears throat> the sand explode in this area. And then you see that trail going back around, making a figure eight between the two. Just kind of like, every once in a while, it'll, there'll be like a little bit of a sand explosion again. But just making figure eights between those two. When the sand explosions occur, is it possible to see the creature that is making them? Or is it still on Make a perception check. Ooh! Maybe something is trapping it. There. 21! 21. You don't see the creature. You only see sand exploding out from where it hits. Is there any stone or anything nearby? Like that you can see? Like, are there rocks? Like big boulders? Is it just sand dunes? There is some. Like, like off to your left, the ground is more rocky. Off to your right, where this creature is, it appears to be at least sand. I'm gonna run towards the rockier land. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. I also I have a question. Uh huh. Would I be aware of the whole thing where it hears the footsteps and heartbeats? You would know about it in as much poetic detail as you would know from the ancient verse. And there, in the deep places of the world, it sensed them. And it knew their fear, and out forth it came, pouring itself like a great river. Okay. Yes. Are you coming up with this off the top of your head? Maybe. Nice. That's pretty good. <laughs> because, see? That was pretty good. Yeah, we're impressed. I would cool. like to make a comment to the group, if like asking if anyone knows how it, like, how it tracks its prey. I don't know, it's uh, all, I, all I know is that it's like by footsteps and heartbeats, so we should probably get somewhere where Wait. it's harder to hear us. Like, the Easy. rock. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense, but I have an idea. Hmm. I'm Run and talk. We'll do. I will do that. I'm going to explain that I have an auditory hallucination spell that I could That's potentially make it think that it hears, and I'm going to ask if anybody else thinks that that might work who knows more about these worm things than I do. By the way, uh, as soon as there is like enough of a quiet from like all of the noise the worms are making, because I'm sure they're making a lot, I want to scream to the party to keep running for that gully that they were told to head for, and keep running away from them and periodically making the noise against the ground. Keeping them in eyesight. But okay, sure. A distance. Sure. Uh, so, uh, as you guys are heading, um, so 
I mean, you you guys, as far as you know, the gully is still about a day. It's about half a day journey at this point. Still away. Uh, the, the, there still are the rocky, you know, the ro little rocky hills. There's not really like a great place to go in them. Like you could, you guys could. So what you're seeing is you could like scramble up sort of like sandy rock, gravel to like the top of a rise. That's, uh, you can see in the distance, it kind of comes out into the desert, that it's getting higher and higher each time. I'm going to... And you could, you could theoretically climb up onto it. I'm gonna run that way with Stuko and, I guess, pulling Azalea. <laughs> Thank you. How, 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 how do you mean, run that way? I'm gonna run towards the, the rocky area, just because maybe it'll be harder to hear us. So, 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 what I'm trying to ask is, are you guys going to keep where you are, which is right, which is that you're on the edge, as in it's, there's right to your left, there's the rocks, to the right is the vast openness of the desert, or are you going to climb up into the rocks? I, I, I guess, I'm, I'm just getting into the rocky area and kind of scrambling up a little bit. Like, okay. I'm not going like, to okay. climb, like, a mountain or whatever, I'm just going to get, like, a yeah. few feet off the ground. It's, it's, it's not a mountain, uh, yet. It will be one, eventually. Okay, but, like, I, d I yeah, just don't no. want to be standing directly on the ground. Alright, so, so you guys scramble on up. Uh, Fen, you make the sound, and you watch as uh, the, the, the stream breaks out of that figure eight pattern, and it comes, but at this point you see that it that it comes, and then there's a... a, a th you feel a... Bum, 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 bum. And the... And the Sort of the, the 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 stream of the sand starts retreating away in a, another curving loop. Away from the sound that he made. Uh, it's sort of like it comes, and then it loops back, and then it comes back, and then loops back. But never getting very close to the sounds that I'm making. It seems to be. It gets it within about 20 feet. Every time, it seems to follow the same arc. Because it's not making any new paths. 20 feet, and then it goes away. Is it the same arc since it first popped up near Azalea? Different arc, but you do know that it was making the exact same figure eight every time. Is it getting closer to us? It just, it seems to be going on that loop towards that sound and then away from it. Okay. So it's the exact same loop. Seems to be. And was it, it was moving significantly faster than we? Than you are? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I would like to very slowly and, and methodically start making my way back to the party and periodically for the first like 30 feet of it make those big booms against the sand again and then after the last one i'm gonna just book it for the for the party okay i was just hoping to pull it away distract it a bit but All seeing right. that the party is for the decently record, safe. ven is waiting on the sand for her brother before going up the rocks okay so uh as you guys so that so as you guys as you make that last sound, you see that 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 the uh, that the that the trail subsides, and all seems quiet. And as you're heading back, all of a sudden you see off further in the distance. This is about maybe right about like a half mile away. Excuse me. You see the trail kicking up again, heading from the northeast down in a big arc. And it's heading right towards you. Uh, towards who? It's heading right towards Ven and Then. Guys, guys, come on! How do you? How close is Ven? Uh, it's still about thirty feet away, and it's coming to you. It's coming at you rapidly. How f how close am I? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It, it's coming towards Then at about. It's about thirty feet from Ven. Ven's about twenty feet from you. Can I toss Ben? The edge, uh, toss them some my rope. Sure. Alright. Make a dexterity check, and he makes a dexterity check, too. Or acrobatics, you can do acrobatics. And the dice go everywhere. I recommend finding a great big piece of schist. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a schist! <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Six, it doesn't matter. Six. One. 
Was it? 21. 21. You throw this beautiful I rope. Just to lasso him. <laughs> you, you, you throw this beautiful rope, and your brother just like, he looks at it and just goes right through his hands as he's looking at the. <sighs> I'm distracted by a massive worm coming at me. Yes, I'm trying to save you. Then <laughs> full round sprint, dude. Then I need you to make a reflex save. Which one? Then. Okay. Sorry, I heard N, but I wasn't sure if it was Ven or Then. <laughs> reflex? Yes. Thirty twenty. Thirty twenty? Dirty. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like yeah, I'm like I'm like, that's impressive. 30, <laughs> Twenty. Then, then just leaps into outer space. <laughs> Comes back with the. So, so, so you, 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 you dive out of the way, and you, you feel this, this blast of sand and sediment in your face, and then you watch it. You feel it thunder underneath you, and make a sharp left hand turn and start heading back out towards where you made the sound. And you watch as there's a large explosion of sand and dirt where you made the sound. Okay. And then there's another explosion out there. And then the path starts repeating itself back around towards you. So that it's really following close. the sounds, but it lags behind the sounds a little bit. Um... You keep saying it's like the, the path following. Is it a predictable path? Like it's following the same network of tunnels over and over again? I guess I can't That's, see. That's so matter. Oh, uh, you can't see. I mean, for those of us who can see, though. For those of uh, for those of you who can see, it does seem to be following the same pattern. And like like. How do I explain this? It's like it's like whenever it whenever it sees something, it seems to have a set route to get there, and it doesn't deviate from that route. That's what happens the, if you're in the middle of one of the figure eights? Are you going to find out? I don't want to know. Something seems to be trapping it under the surface. I mean, usually, I mean, I would, I should, I would. You've said that they bust out of those are the legends that have said that they bust out of the ground, but this thing I, either it's trying to frighten us or something, or it just or it can't get out. Which uh, to me it seems like it it, it basically had then and Azalea at multiple points. It would have just made sense for it to come bursting out and then, no offense, eat you two. And the fact that it didn't makes me wonder if it actually can. Nonetheless, we still shouldn't stick around to find out. I agree, we should keep smelting hungry. No, I don't chasing. really want to wait until it becomes hungry. Wait, sorry, what? How high is the, uh, the thing we're on? It's, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's about 15 feet off the desert floor. That makes me feel better. Uh, does anybody know who's studied these things? You have to be touching the ground. For, to identify where you are. Would we know that? Uh, I, I... You're welcome to make nature checks. That's... Well, no, you already did that. Huh? I already did that. Can you fly? Not normally, but it's possible I could build something like a hang glider. That could increase the amount of time that we have <laughs> off of the ground. <laughs> at any given time. Air bending. What was that, Gabrielle? I feel like that would take a long time. Maybe we wait for a while up here and decide and see what it does. With a little bit of help from my brother, I might be able to make it work relatively quickly. Well, but... the thing that I'm thinking is maybe we don't invest the time if we don't need it. I mean, if it can't get through the sand to get to us, I would be very surprised if it can get through the, through the stone to get to us. So maybe we sit here and see what it does for a while and then Maybe if it decides that it's done hunting us, we can actually move on. I, I suspect this. Go ahead. I kind of just, just want to get away from it at this point. It's kind of scary, and I mean, I don't like being near it. If if oh, I yeah. need to, though, I could try to... I, I know a couple of hallucination spells that I could try. I'm not super confident with them, but I mean, I could try them. It seems smart. Personally, I think we should follow the 
stones we're currently standing on and just wait to see what it does. That's what I was thinking, but then but what, what were you going to say? All? That's what happened in the stories. Then what were you about to say? I don't remember, sorry. So do we want to just wait and see what it does while we're here? It doesn't have to be for long, Azalea. Maybe just a couple of minutes. Okay, I mean, I'm not going to go anywhere without you guys. <laughs> Azalea seems very anxious. <laughs> I'm going to give her, like, a side hug and just kind of watch where the thing was and see what happens. So, after watching for a couple minutes, for, after about two minutes, the path seems to slow down. It just becomes a slight ripple in the, in the sand. Slight vibration. And then it seems to die away altogether. I want to test something. I'm gonna tie the rope around myself and say, Can everyone just grab this for me? Mm -hmm. If you see me coming, for God's sakes, pull me up. I want to go see if I get onto the sand again. I jump around if it's going to come out again. That was what I was thinking. Maybe with the noise. Before, but let's not. If it's, yeah. Oh, I will hold on to the end of the rope. I'm not very if strong. Multiple people could do that. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm holding onto the rope, but I don't know how much help I'll be. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'd be any help. Then gets dragged downward. <laughs> Yeah, does anybody else can can we Francis just, will help. strength by numbers? Because yeah. I think yeah. everybody made strength or dump stat. Yeah, oh, we, dear. we not me, I have charisma. That's true. Your secondary dump stat. Se this is true. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a world where there is such a thing as secondary dump stats. <laughs> yes. Alright. Yeah, All right. I made everything my dump stat, so. <laughs> um Alright, so I hand off the rope. And I will go and I will get onto the sand and I will start jumping up and down and screaming. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. <laughs> please don't eat me, please don't eat me, please don't eat me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sure enough, Cervena, you sense in the distance, you feel the rumble building, you see it come again on the same route, swooping down from the northeast, the sand rising towards you. Go pull it back up. You. Boom, yep. boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And, uh, and as you as you pull her back up, uh, everybody make a strength check. Oh, great. I'm gonna, have, like, keep clambering up, too, but... Maybe oh, no. How much? Thirteen. Thirteen? Eight. Roll a thirteen. One. Not natural, but one. Maybe Do I need to roll anything longer? for climbing up the rocks myself? Sure, roll a climb check. Oh dear. Wait, what? What? What did? Would, what, we get a, would we get advantage on these since we're all pulling together? Yeah. No, that's fair. Sweet. That's good. The yeah, climb check is a four. four. Heck yes. Yeah. Sixteen. Twelve. Thirteen. Again. What'd you get, Ethan? I got a twelve this time. Twelve is better than one. Yeah, I got fifteen. Ethan. What's up? You Sorry, Mike. On that check. Yeah, no, still 13. Still 13. So you guys are able to hoist her up, and as she's suspended in midair, you see, that, again, this thing come to about 10 feet of you, and then just rock it around, and then head back out sort of the same way that it went when you made the last sound then. So okay. it was either something is limiting its movement, or there's something else that keeps it... I think something is limiting its movement. Either way, we should probably take advantage of it and just go. That would be advisable. Every time that a sound came, it basically would add it into the. Is it adding it into the patrol? You. Uh, it seems like every time that there was a new, every, like every time it heard a sound, it would get clo it, it would inv it would go to that sound. But does it keep patrolling around there, or does it just investigate the sound and then go back to its normal loop? What normal loop? You said that it was doing figure eights around something. I said it was doing figure eights around the the two when he made two sounds right back to back. It was sort of figure eighting between the two of them. Okay, so it's just investigating the sounds, then shooting off, and then coming back around, and then shooting off. But it keeps going away whenever we're not making sounds. Yeah, so, it'll okay. stay in the area for a little bit, and then it'll 
go back what to we... wherever it came. Okay, here's an idea. What if we stay here on the rocks, we build the hang glider, I don't, depending on how long it will take you to you both. Maybe by the time that you guys have finished, it will have, it will be bored of us anyway. And even if it is not, then we can use the hang glider to get ten feet away from it. I guess. I don't know. Pray tell, what are you going to make this hang glider out of? That's a really good point. Sheets. We're carrying. As in the gas station in central Pennsylvania? <laughs> no, because I remember that Felix was bringing blankets and sheets with him. I'm I've got a backpack those. full of blankets and sheets. I'm using those. Okay, and what are we using for the frames? Um. Sticks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever I think I can find. Anybody got anything that's good for a frame? I have a quarter stock that I'm very partial to and that I can't really give up because it's my main weapon. You have a bunch of sticks, right, Felix? I have, you have a whole bundle sticks. of sticks. Can I steal three sticks? You can use my three sticks, yes. I will steal his sticks. How long are the sticks? Stealing toys the from children. I mean, like... <laughs> Was it? Worse. I'm not just stealing toys from children. I'm stealing guidance from a blind man. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sorry, your guide, your guide dog is a little bit blind at the moment too. <laughs> oh, so like you have one that's almost like a wand, like that's long enough to be like a blind person's wand. Um, but the other two are like twigs. Uh. Anything in the area I can try to use? Make a you I'm make just a you can make a survival check. Wands. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you, what am I making? You can make a survival like check a or a perception check to try and see if there's anything in the area. Oh wait, I'm not using that die. Hang on. <laughs> oh, there we go. Also, I saw a Walmart employee today whose name was Kane, and I felt really bad for him. Twenty. Not natural. Twenty. Alright, so you look around and you see that there are some uh some very scruffy looking, scrubbly looking bushes. Scruffy scrubbly. Scruffy scrubbly looking bushes like up on the height. But um you don't see any trees. You haven't seen a tree in a long time, actually, come to think of it. Mm. I don't have luck in my inventory. We could always just wait and see what happens. Does anyone else carry spears or bows or swords or things we could make into a frame? I, I have a long sword. I carry a long. I carry a short sword. Oh wait, I forgot that I have a staff. Mm. That's just. I forgot I had that. Okay, but the you problem... can use it. The problem with using swords would be that, like, it has to be able to fly, and metal tends to weigh yeah. that down. And how are you going to connect them together? Rope. <laughs> and magic. <laughs> Rope. I have tinkerer's tools, too, so I imagine I can probably find... <laughs> you I'm just gonna tell you right in. now... Okay, yes. I'm just gonna tell you right now, I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think so either. I don't but... think that it's really necessary. I think we should leave. Because how far is the hang glider really going to get us? Because we can only use it if we're launching off of one point. It's probably going to get us like 10 feet ahead of it, and then we're going to have to run anyway. I don't know physics. As in, Felix doesn't. But don't bother with a hang glider. Make a hot air balloon. Yes, because we definitely have fuel to work a hot air balloon. Felix can generate hot air. It's one of his abilities. Well, if I just know that... him opening his mouth... <laughs> He did it in front of you all in the last battle we had. Does that utilize a spell, or is that just an ability? It's one of his oracle abilities. That's really random. What would we make the basket out of? We'd all just hang on. We wouldn't make a basket. <laughs> How much hot air can you can you supply? Enough to fill the entire UN twice over. <laughs> <laughs> Full of hot air. <laughs> yeah. Man, Felix is full of hot air, Eddie. <laughs> he can generate a superheated breeze two or five times a day, so I'm assuming that's enough to fill a balloon. Superheated. Oh, Define superheated, please. It turns people when it touches them. Well, that could be problematic. 
Yes, uh, yes, look at hot air Yes, look at the fall no, look at the, look at the falling people with the arm <laughs> fires. Some red birds that we all crash. What did you say? Andrew? I, I said I said, well there's your problem. You're just gonna watch just six people six people holding flaming bed sheets leap off the side of a mountain. <laughs> Um, I'd like to point out the air in hot air balloons is also hot enough that you you burn people because there's flame heating it. True. It has a lot of space to cool down though. Am I thinking about this right? I don't know. Things that burn people often won't set a blaze fabric. What's with you? Uh, uh, necessarily are going to make a working hot air balloon. Look, if 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 you guys would attempt to make Felix's hot air sheets, you are welcome to try. <laughs> I feel like if it's not actually popping up and it's only getting within ten feet of a source. Kind of unnecessary. And it's never gotten closer than ten feet of a source, correct? Oh no, it's it, it it ran right under Azalea. It ran right under your brother. It's, it, it's, like, it, it, it's circled, and it's hit under some of the sources. It just couldn't, it just, it just didn't get closer to you. And it hasn't broken through. It, yeah, it, it either couldn't or didn't get closer we to you. kill the thing or hurt it so it runs away. I'm not well, sure we we're could capable of killing it. What? I'm not sure we're capable of killing it. We can at least harm it, that's for sure. What'd you say, Harley? Oh, Might they just make it mad? And reels themselves in, it will pop up, and we can shoot it with the gun we've got. Yeah, but we, it could also, we could harm it, and then it could also harm us back and kill us. Not if we're I don't want to die. Not if we're what? We could just stay trapped on a piece of rock forever, or we could harm it, and if we do what uh, we did previously, we were able to get onto the rock before it came, but it still popped out of the ground. Here's what I think. It's what hard. Are... I mean, you guys could always just walk along the ridge line. That's what I was about to ask. Where, well, do, you... where do these rocks go? I mean, they they go the same direction you're going. It's just it's just yeah. harder to travel. How long does it do that? Like it it it, it will t it will take you a longer time. I mean, you might you might be pressing your resources a little bit here because this, this is up and down. We can always eat Felix. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what in doubt? Eat the blind kid. <laughs> Start walking. Okay, Quote. don't ever say that again. <laughs> Quote. Where that came from? Quote. I, I had like something that I wanted to say earlier that I restrained myself. <laughs> okay, guys, we have become, we have gone from being racist love, sexist love, and now we're the stableist. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word. We're just very discriminatory against disabilities, and it's kind of a problem. We're gonna get flagged. You guys could go back down to the surface, though. I mean, it hasn't broken the surface that you know of. I, I don't want to go back down there. It's and entirely it possible off. that there's just, like, some sub-foundation of rock. I mean, rock isn't coming out of nowhere. That's what I'm thinking. It's possible that if we stay close on the edge of the rock, that we'll be okay. I mean, but... I mean, think of, uh, you, you could be right, or we could get eaten. I mean, Here's Azalea, you do remember this thing bursting through walls of ruins as it chased your... as it chased the people in that book. I mean, what obstacle is a little bit of rock? Azalea's just gonna start quoting. A question. Mm -hmm. Have I ever... Have either Azalea or I seen pictures? Or like paintings or artist renderings of it. You 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 have probably seen. I mean, as we said, you 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 where you come from, most of the tradition is oral. Mm -hmm. So so for you to see a, a picture of something would be a special thing. Like you don't have a lot of visual representation, mm -hmm. but you remember that there was this there's this old storyteller woman in your village, mm -hmm. and she. Uh, and she showed you guys what a, she had a purple worm for storytelling. It was a it was a snake that she had gutted, and she and had d been dyed purple, and she held it up to a housefly, and said, and told the story about there was a foolish boy who wandered too far into the desert, and underneath was lurking. Creepy. 
I don't want to be eaten like that, Mrs. Storyteller. It is all right, like child. Wandering. Anyway, um, <laughs> point being, did any of the stories describe it as having like a sharp head or was it like a soft head? Yeah, a squishy head or a, hot, or a hard head? Squishy head or a hard head? Because was it was stubborn. <laughs> Yeah, you know that you know that uh, you know purple worms usually have problems with their parents. Um, hey, <laughs> like, that's my purple worm family structure. There's, there's a reason for why why I'm asking. I know the reason for why you're asking. Look at the beast here. Oh no, no, I know the answer. I mean, you, okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna say you probably wouldn't know this one because I, I don't think that's anything that's that anybody would talk about. This. Azalea would know because if it has a hard head, then we have every reason to believe that it can get through stone and there's just something holding it back. Azalea thinks it can get thing. through stone. Azalea fully Other, thinks that. Okay, because otherwise Azalea it's not a frost head, then it, then it can't, and that was just a slight exaggeration. But seeing as this tradition has been carried from not just wherever the heck, whatever book you're reading, but also in the middle of the black jungle. I have every. Re I'm thinking it probably can. So we should That's really just well, start going. So we're further away from it, right? I think we should follow the ridge. That seems to be the safest point of. I agree. So can we go now? Yes, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure thing. I'm good with that. Awesome. Right now, it is the heat of the day. It is between 12 and 3. Could you all please make fortitude saves? Yes. Against Quick exhaustion. Yes. How wide is this ridge? Oh, how wide is the ridge? It, it's, it, it, it's big, actually. It's about 10 foot. 5 yeah. at the narrowest, 10 foot at the biggest. I'm going to borrow the rope, and I'm going to jump down to the opposite side of the ridge. Sure. You're... 19. 10. 10. 15. 19, 10, 15. Uh, 18. 18. Nope, sorry, wrong person. Oh, and for me, 16, alright. Um, Azalea, unfortunately, you were going to take a level of exhaustion because okay. of this. Uh, you are going to do, there's a, I have the, I have the proper thing. Mmm! You are, you are just, um, give me a moment here. You are fatigued. <laughs> okay. So, 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 so that, so that is, ju that's, you take a, you take a minus two to strength and dex base checks. Okay. And, and you can't like, just like straight up run. Okay. Like, like you can't like sprint anywhere. I mean, you can still, you know, do what you normally do. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. So we really do need to carry her. Hey guys, you do. I'm not feeling too good right now. <laughs> it was the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> the desert <laughs> shrimp. The giant Felix, desert shrimp. Felix is going to generate water over her head. Oh! Down our cooler off. Cool. It helps. That feels nice. <laughs> it helps. Um, Bless you. Sorry. Well, Bless you, know you should shouldn't, but mostly your cat. Whether or, what, whether or not it decides to be blessed, it has been blessed. He always chooses to be blessed. <laughs> Guys, I have an idea. Yeah. What if we... Uh, the ridge might actually... Some, maybe the shadow of the rocks would help us stay a little cooler. But what if I jump down to the opposite side of the ridge and you guys look out for the thing? Because that would also answer my question. Because definitely if there's a bunch of stones here, then there's going to be some bedrock underneath us. So if it can't get underneath... You know what I'm saying? Like maybe if it, depending on how close it gets to the ridge, it may it, that may answer the question of whether it can actually get through the stone. Because if it does show up on this side, then we know that, uh, well, probably when the ridge starts sinking into the ground, we will know that it can get to stone. To a stone. Why do we need to test it? I don't know. We don't really. Never mind. The spirit of scientific inquiry. Mostly that. And you know, I don't really care about power. scientific inquiry right now. I care about staying alive. Okay, well, uh, keep it in mind. Uh, 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 right. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. 
See, every time I like that song in and of itself, CPR. but anytime yep. anyone thinks it's that fast, all I can think of is the one scene from The Office. But nobody knows what That's I'm what doing. I use as my, my baseline tempo if I need to do something close to about 100. Yeah, no. Well, you can't tell by the way I use my word. No time to talk. You was out and we the warm, but they kicked it around since I was born. All right, then again, you can hear me everywhere. You can try to understand. Yes, you are walking, going. It's bring, bring, just going. Francis is bringing up the rear. Just going along. We did the rear. <laughs> we look through all information this is pretty beautiful you know like every time somebody goes like this way and out this way the other group goes the opposite way it's just we've perfect. all got that like hip swagger that the bgs do yes we are the bgs <laughs> the bgs <gasps> kind of like the worm is doing the worm <laughs> change the background <laughs> wait wait azalea if you can talk people to sleep can you sing people so that they dance <laughs> She's not a bard, kids. I could try. <laughs> hashtag, not a bard. Hashtag, not a, hashtag not a bard. Hashtag not all bards. Hashtag wrong character. Hashtag wrong character. <laughs> hashtag wrong character. <laughs> they hashtag not a bard anymore. <laughs> I'm a dog. That's your excuse. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag not all dogs. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, so you guys are swaggering down to the desert. You see Azalea who's like... I feel like Azalea's like holding on to someone's shirt and dragging herself along. <laughs> Amari will who's like... The strongest, who's, who's the strongest in the party? Is it is it Francis with 10? Francis' is strength. 10? Mine's 10 as well. Mine's 11. Okay. Oh, it's Amari. Seven! Yeah, you, you, I'm the weakest exactly in the party. Same. My bonus would still be the same as yours. Wait. Yeah. Wow. You are weaker than me. That's kind of weird. To, well, you know what? Since, 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 you hop, since you hop down, Francis will take Azalea. Since you hop down on the far side. I didn't end up down. Oh, okay. No, okay. I'm sorry. So, idea. to kind of explain, like, sort of like the ridge line is, like, in between, and then it falls away much more gently, and then it starts to go up. It falls down gently into, like, a little, like, it's like almost like a little like a mini valley. Yeah, if That's even, if even, it, it it's it's almost it's almost more like, you know, for all the world, it looks like one of those drainage ditches that they put alongside roads at parks. Yeah. Like sort of that, except running alongside. And every once in a while, it'll have a big hill you'll have to climb over, or even a little bit of a jutting ridge line. Yeah, I'll stay on the ridge. All right, so. uh... You guys are going. It's it's a little bit tougher going up here. It's um, can I can I just get one general, uh, either uh, acrobatics or climb check? Just, just just it's not that you're you're not doing much serious climbing. You you you're, but you're not just able to walk. You gotta do some. You gotta do a little bit of scrambling. Ooh, a big ten yeah. for me. Nineteen. Nineteen. Twelve. Twelve. First level, guys. Ten. Ten. Alright. Yum. Thirteen. Thirteen. With my current minus three. <laughs> uh, Francis is, uh, Fra Francis, who's carrying Azalea, so that's... Harley, you rolled higher than me, and I have a plus four to acrobatics. So also, I realized that Azalea, you don't have to roll, because Francis is carrying you. I mean, Azalea would probably try to help. It's... Like, she's not gonna be dead weight. She's just kind of, like... Assistance appreciated when needed. She's trying to pull her own weight as much as she can. Yeah. So at one point where you're climbing over a boulder uh, with with Francis, uh, the boulder shifts unexpectedly, and the two of you tumble down the sand side. That's the sheer side, uh, and you you guys are gonna both need to roll reflex saves. <laughs> Yours is gonna be with a minus two. Darn it. Oh no. Did you not one? Question, Andrew. Yes. What, would, what does it take to take away her fatigue? Uh, a good night's rest, food, and water. Seven. Okay. Or a restoration Seven. Alright, um, alright, so here's the deal. Alright, so Azalea, you. 
tumble headlong down, and you land very hard on your back. You're going to take four points of damage. Okay. Azalea will scream on her way down. Uh, Francis is going to be able to arrest his fall, and he's going to take uh, he's going to take two points of damage because he did make his save. Wait, how many points did I take? Four. Four. Okay, that's not good. Are you like, I'm, down to two, I'm down to two hit points. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First level. Uh, Azalea, you are Azalea. You're not only fatigued. Now you have a bleeding head wound from a rock on the way down. Oh gosh, I'm gonna try and I will. I have a concussion. You know, no, probably not. Like you're able to think clearly. At least, okay. well, of course. You then again, you don't know what a concussion is. So. <laughs> you, you you have an injury that's that thing that holds that holds your useless brain your, that useless brain organ and useful things like your eyes and tongue. <laughs> darts, darts, darts. Am I on the sand? Yes, you are now. Okay, I'm going to throw the. Rope Is the down thingy down. coming? Not that you noticed. No. I mean, okay. you screamed on the way down, so... Why would... You know, screaming is an appropriate response to falling headfirst. Yeah. You, got, you, got, you guys have been walking for uh, at least an hour now. Probably several hours. Uh, and you see far off... Uh, somebody make a perception check. Somebody with good perception make a perception check. Somebody on top of the ridge. Or, and uh, somebody with good perception and Azalea. Come on, uh, 18. Ooh. 19. 19, 19 alright, uh, so... 15? So, Azalea, from your vantage point, you probably wouldn't see this, but from the two of you on the top of the ridge, Amari and uh, Cervena, you see that trail of dust getting kicked up in the distance, hooking now from the due east. But it uh, it'll, it only gets with about within about quarter mile and then heads starts heading south again. Do they tell me? Mildly encouraging. Uh guys I'm sorry. I'm sorry yeah. I got You alright, Azalea? Uh de define all right. It's Can not. I get back up? I, I tossed the rope down to her. Yeah, no, Francis is going to come down and help her climb up. Because, like, I mean, it was kind of his fault that she fell. Yeah. It's okay, it's not really your fault. Like, you were helping me. Please don't feel bad. Did you say that? I rolled an 18 on perception, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you, so you saw, in the distance, you saw coming from uh, almost Dewey, still a little bit northy, you see... You saw the trail coming out, but about a quarter mile of away, it turns south, and then sort of disappears off to the south. Okay. It's possible we're out of its range, but I'm not quite going to test it yet. Yeah, no. Guys, grab the rope and we'll help pull you back up. Resilient <laughs> <laughs> does not weigh that much. <laughs> Are they right. back up now? So yeah, no, you bet. She's back up. Everybody's fine. Everybody's okay. good. Should I make a heal check? That might help with the headache. That's my tip. Yeah, my head does not feel great right now, and I think there's blood. <laughs> there is. Just a little trickle. That's nice. I can also help give her okay. a look over. Um, Felix gets out his bandages and bandages her. I got a 23 to my heal check. Excellent. All right. So the bleeding is staunched. The bleeding is staunched. You're not going to have to worry about uh, any more, uh, anything like that. You, you're, you're, you're set. You're taken care of. Cool. This is, this is good. You, you know, you still feel pretty beat up. You still desperately need a good night's rest, but you're going to be okay for now. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. You're like first class healers. She's trying to be cheerful. <laughs> <laughs> is Elliot on the outside? the most excitement I've seen in like the last 30 years. This is kind of impressive, guys. Stuko is going to go oh. and feel bad and kind of 
begrudgingly brush up against Azalea. Azalea will, like, pet his head. Well, kind of, if, if a cat could roll its eyes, that's what Stuka would be doing. <laughs> the cat's sitting there. It's a very it's sassy like, cat. Many parties have seen it. It's a cat. Not all cats are sassy. I've never met a cat that was not Hashtag sassy. Hashtag not all cats. A tiger. And tiger was just freak, freakishly annoying. I'm so sorry. I... How does he call Lewis sassy? Like a friendly cat. Yeah. That's true. Lewis is just... Very He's never me. met Lewis. We've never met Lewis. Lewis's butt is very type B. <laughs> Lewis is a type B butt. <laughs> Close <laughs> list. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you folks continue, you start heading north. Fortunately, especially for you, Azalea, the sun is starting to drop below. It's starting to drop down. It's. I mean, look, we're still height of summer. So it's still gonna be light. It's it's gonna be light for about another four hours. Do we want to take a break? We don't necessarily have to walk all the, all through the night all, until it's completely dark. Especially if, if we're starting to feel a little bit beat up. All right. So I think we should at least have some water. I mean, did you folks bring tents? We brought bed rolls. Okay. Suck if it rains. <laughs> yeah. I've done that. It does suck. Well, we do always have to have Felix's extra bed sheets that we didn't turn into a hang ladder. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty certain I could use my poles to make a tent out of my tents. That's pretty good. So at this point, you guys are closing in on about 6 p.m. I'll have to keep going. You've got. I would really rather not stop this close. There's, there's about to can we danger. Have dinner. There's about two hours left to sunlight. I'm really hungry. Let's stop for 15, 20 minutes and let's keep walking. Yeah, let's take a yeah. short rest. We can eat a little bit and then keep going. And if things start looking really rough, then we can call it quits. All right, so you all. So as you lay out your stuff, are you gonna eat on the ridge line or are you gonna eat down the valley? Ridge line. Ridge line. <laughs> yeah. Tasha, the look on your face. All right, <laughs> so you fo you folks are up on the ridge line. So as you're sitting, there, as you're open, as the smoked sausages are being spilled forth onto napkins, and as the oat cakes are Give being us pre napkins. That seems unlikely. This is high end travel. The, 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 <laughs> yeah, kerchiefs. Thank you, Ethan. Like 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 that's precisely what they are. Uh, they, they even noticed that that it azalea. They they stuck a they stuck an extra little uh, jar of preserves in yours. They thought you might appreciate it. Um, Azalea very much appreciates the preserves. So actually, actually, you look down, and actually, in all of the girls, girls, and all of your supplies, there is a little bit of preserves. In fellas, in yours, there's a little pouch of tobacco in each of yours. <laughs> what kind of preserves? Uh, you take a sniff. Smells like the cactus fruits. <laughs> I mean, what else? Uh, you know, what else are you gonna? Yeah, what else I think are you... it was still very generous of them. Yeah. I would like to take a pinch of the tobacco and put it in my pipe and smoke it. <laughs> well, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Smoke, <laughs> Tosh. <laughs> what was that? What'd you say, Tasha? I said historically smoked. Not since you left. <laughs> then gives him a, gives him like a weird look. Yes, things change over time. Azalea's gonna lay down for a couple of minutes as soon as she finishes eating. All right. Uh, yeah, that's good. Um, and Felix is gonna take his rations, wrap them up, and put them in his backpack. You're not sleeping. Does anyone notice Are this? Are you anorexic, Felix? 
<laughs> Eating is important. You should at least eat six meals a day. <laughs> All right, you hold his arms, I'll pinch his nose, this will be fine. I'm gonna roll a sense motive check. Yes. Andrew, are you on roll 20? I am. Okay, I'm going to... Crap, are you Francis on that? I, 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 I will be under Francis' phone, yes. Okay. Never mind about the sense motive. All right, so, uh... It was a ten. All right, so as you get, it's it's still it, like I said, it's creeping on towards sunset. It's maybe six fifteen, six twenty. You got, you got maybe two hours of sunlight. Let's use the light while we have it. I assume not everybody here can see in the dark. Uh no. No, I definitely can't. Ethan, did you pick that as one of your racial traits? What? See. Dark is dark, sort of. <laughs> I believe I have dark vision. Okay. I forgot to pick. Uh, no, I picked a couple. I don't think I picked. I don't think I picked that though. Oh, God, I'm the one who can see in the dark. That's gonna get great. Hang okay. on, hang on. <laughs> I feel like wandering in the dark seems like a very bad idea. I agree. It's going to be light for a few hours. Yes, I have dark vision. Okay. I have I superior don't. dark vision. Mm. I can see 120 feet. My goodness. So in that case, um... I think we should push on until it gets dark. Wait, why... Wait, no, never mind. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, Azalea, is that okay with you? Now that you've had some food? Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll be, I'll be fine. I'll be good. Oh, just a little bit more, Azalea. Uh, make a perception check. Who? who? Anybody who feels like it. Like, anybody who's trying to... Like, like, I see the people who are talking about getting where you're trying to get. Ooh. 22. Alright, 22. Alright, so you guys can identify... Uh, who's it? People with over 20. Who's the folks with over 20? I think only two people are old. Alright, so... Which, whichever you had over 20. That's you. Alright, so you're able to see that way off in the distance, like way, way off, you see that, like, not that far off, the ground starts to get a lot more up and down, like, immediately. You see, you see the surface of the desert starts to get more rocky and less sandy. That's, the, uh, that's coming up, that's about a half mile away. You start to see that, and the ridge line's going to get a lot rockier. Okay. Rocks, guys. Um, Andrew. I could all sit yeah. Down and walk on the sand at this point if if the thing seems to have lost all interest. Sorry. To say. Was that perception check only for that? Yeah. Okay. Do we want to walk on the sand? Maybe it'll be a little less uh, straining than trying to walk on the ridge, especially as it's getting dark. We can always just climb back up if we need to. Alrighty, so, uh, you folks climb down? Nobody is, I don't know, I was asking. I'm going to give it a try briefly, staying close to the ridge line. Okay. Am I, I think it would be a good idea to sleep in the ridge, though. Alright. No, that makes sense. Alright, so you folks scoot down, and uh, now you're in the shadow of the, of the ridge. Uh, I mean, it is coming. I mean, the, the sun is over in the west now. You're you're well in the shadow of this. Uh, it's a lot cooler down here than it was up on the ridge. So, uh, how much further are you guys gonna press? I guess until it gets dark. All right. So until it gets dark, or we get eaten. So you <laughs> got. So you guys are. You guys press on for another hour. Another two hour. At this point, you're deep into twilight. You are deep into twilight. It is getting late. It is getting dark. 
It is getting is colder. It's full moon. It's full moon, so you can see all right. Are we really in that much of a rush, though? I mean, it's not like we have to keep to a deadline or something. We're really just trying to make sure we don't use up all of our rations. But we can always, I mean, assuming that it only that it will only take a couple of days, or it will take about three days for us to get there. I mean, on the third day we should arrive, so it would, we don't necessarily have to have... We could always eat a little bit less on the third day of our rations, assuming that we're going to arrive at Helmana and can probably find an inn that has, you know, food I'm there. Somewhere I'm without food for some time. I mean, it sucks, but... Yeah, I mean... Not before. And we could no. also potentially dig up some desert plants or find some cactus fruit. Oh, no. yeah. So I don't know that we really need to rush through the night, so maybe we should just give it a rest tonight. Since we've been walking on the sand, we have not seen the, uh... No. Okay. We should probably still camp on the ridge line. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no. That's, that affords a lot more safety. Uh, so are we all agreed that we call it quits for the night? Sure. Alright, so... So, uh... Getting up on this ridge is going to be a little bit harder. It's going to... It takes you about a... Another 20 minutes to find. Uh, it takes you a while to find a place where it's easy for everybody to just sort of scramble up. I mean, y'all can just take 10 on this. It's not that hard. So uh, you guys scramble up, and you're able to you're able to find a little place at the top that's at the, at the, you're up against some rocks. You're facing the desert. Is that okay with you guys? I'm good with that. Good vantage point. Oh, definitely. Okay. So as I can easily see into the other side of the ridge, like the short side. Yeah. All right, so that that way we can watch them. I'm I'm probably say like there's a there's a there there are rocks in between you and the short side of the gully, and like the little gully, but you can still just like poke your head around and look into the gully. I'm gonna poke my head around right now and make sure there's nothing creepy or disgusting crawling in it. You see? Am gully. Are there any scorpions in this gully? It's the desert, probably. Uh, make a perception check. Be back in a minute. What Fun. self respecting Pathfinder desert doesn't have scorpions? Precisely. <laughs> I am willing to take a watch if I'm not back before we do watches. Sure. Uh, 12. I'll go through 12. Alright, 12. I mean, you don't see any. I mean, you assume they're there. But, they're, like, there are no giant scorpions just meandering about. Why do you know what I'm going to ask for asking? It's really creepy. Stop that. One time in Cameroon, Nelson was standing in a doorway. There was, like, this weird thing on the doorway. And I was like, what in the world is that? There's a scorpion. It was, like, a foot and half of his head. Nice. Scorpions are great. I found it. We've seen we've seen a couple of scorpions like when we were in Mexico. It was cool. Because we keep going in the summer when it's like unnecessarily hot. Unnecessarily hot. That's all. That's all the travel brochures, isn't it? Come to Mexico. It's unnecessarily hot. <laughs> we've got scorpions and cockroaches and unnecessary heat. Sounds like my childhood. <laughs> and the water will have you spewing for distance and for accuracy. <laughs> Nobody has water in Mexico if they have agua. And if they didn't, and if they had it in English, it would be water because they're from Mexico and they're not messed up. Water. 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 Don't make water. fun of my water. Ah, Water. Uh, all right. So, so, oh. so, which of you are bedding down for the night? I'm taking first watch. All right. Um, I am going to bed. All right. Felix. Felix would like to approach Benmir. I think that's his name. Um, and ask uh, and say, um, I wanted to try to to make something, um, but I'm not not good at making things. Can you help? 
I can try. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull out two of my sticks and say, I want to make a, a sort of um, handhold held um, canopy. For... Like a parasol. Yes, yes, I, I guess so. Um, for, for Azalea, for the sun. Ah, yes, I can certainly try. DM. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. No, you, you you can certainly try. Um, so what? So you try to build like a parasol? Kind of. Uh, well, what you need is a stick. <laughs> Got one of those. All right. So uh, Got three of them, in fact. Uh, potentially, you could make a strange rectangular parasol with that. That's kind of the goal. Just a stick that you hold with, like, one of the other sticks maybe cut up into pieces with, like, a, one of my cloths stretched over yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you could definitely do that. Sure. Yeah, no, th thin, thin mirror. Why don't you make a, make a, make a check for that, good so, buddy? So, I would, I would like to make this for him, uh -huh. but get his help and make him think that he's basically doing the entire thing. Like, just kind of, like, let him do it and correct mistakes as he goes. Because it was his idea, so I'd like him to be able to present it to her that, as something he made. Hello? All right. Okay, I like it. Uh, well, what, what, I mean, what checks are you thinking? I, I'm, I'm thinking, would this be maybe a perform check for you? Um, maybe? I'm not trying to be overly discreet about yeah. it. I'm just kind of like, he asked me for help, so I'm not necessarily making okay, it. Okay, alright. make it. Alright, so in that case, um... Um... He's being a TA. Yeah. Alright, so, um, what you're gonna do is, uh, what, what is your modifier to craft, Ethan? Um... It depends. Am I allowed proficiency? I do. I just want to. What's like the bonus you have from? So I have craft alchemy with a plus four and craft firearms with a plus nine. But other than that, it's just my intelligence All right. score of plus two. So he's gonna take. So he's gonna take that plus six and he's gonna add it to whatever he rolls. Okay. To put the two and the four. And he's gonna. I rolled a sixteen. So plus All right. six, twenty-two. Nice. You have a parasol. An operational parasol. In a lovely lilac purple color. <laughs> Great. Lilac for Azalea. Be nice. Do I have any, like, dyes, or could I get something from my sister's disguise kit? Gabrielle missed it. I'd assume that there'd be some sort of oil paint. Gabrielle always missed it. I would... I would like to to paint the handle, not necessarily like right where the hand goes, because I don't want it to rub off on skin, but like make it kind of match the cloth. Oh, well. Side it... note, Azalea kept the colorful clothing from her disguise because she liked it. <laughs> There's this <laughs> curiosity you were asking before you go into Vin's disguise kit. Um. Probably. <laughs> I would like to think so, but I didn't specify it, so... Alright, so, 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 uh, then you look around and your brother's just, like, holding up this paint for your disguise kit going, What do you think you are doing? <laughs> I have an idea. And you never thought to ask before rummaging through my stuff? No, it's called stealing. It's called advanced oh, borrowing. I suppose I'm falling back into old habits. Oh. Did you usually take a stuff like a makeup or something? I was a you younger brother. What do you think? <laughs> did you borrow her dresses? That I did not do. Yes, yes, he Ravenna did. Ravenna did not really have any dresses for me to borrow. He borrowed all the dresses. She was much more <laughs> of a utilitarian sister. Well, since mode to check to figure out which of you two is lying. Which one of you? 
<laughs> which one? Which one of which one of you is it helpful? Better be Ben. I'm gonna be so mad at you guys if it's not a utilitarian <laughs> sister. Bitch. Sorry. That was really loud. What was your check? Nineteen plus three, so twenty-two. Ben's the one lying. For yo. <laughs> I rolled a fifteen nope. on bluff. I thought Ben was the one lying. <laughs> nope. You, I mean, you obviously you would have had like things for events and stuff, formal wear. Yes. And yes, then the one lying. <laughs> also, I'm sorry for swearing. Justice. That was really loud and unnecessary. <laughs> I was just really excited. But that does not justify my swearing behavior. <laughs> On that awkward note. Moving along. Know. Alright. Amar's so, just gonna wink at I love it we and, both nope. assumed that we were the one lying there, Ethan. I know. Amar's just gonna wink it then and be like, okay. I know. You definitely never played with dresses. And she's just gonna grin and walk away with Stuko. Stuko's gonna kinda like give you a contemptuous look. Because Stuko totally understands common and knows what's being talked about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> smarter than you give him credit for. Because Stuko's a cat and always gives people contention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exhibit A. Yeah. Cat <laughs> Mostly not cat but Mostly oh, wait, not cat butt. <laughs> no, no one's... There we go. Alright. So... Ever want to see it... The rest of the cat is not Alright, so... Can I then also make my other cra my other please, tinker checks? Please, 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 please do. Uh, I want you to make one tinker check for those two. DC's gonna be a little higher because you spent some time helping him. Uh, and then you can do push-ups if you want to. You can do this on your watch <laughs> if you want. What? I got a twenty-two for my craft check. Twenty-two. All right. So this is all right. You're doing. You're doing good. All right. So unfortunately, you spend a lot of time cleaning sand out of your gun. Like so, you're getting it clean, and um, in your head, you're coming up with this idea. This I would idea. Not like you to say the idea out loud. No, yeah, no. But you have an idea. You have a very interesting idea. Okay. One simple idea. And for your other idea that you're working on, uh, the the idea that you're just working on, mm -hmm. uh, is that you're just gonna you're just gonna start. You're just gonna, you, you're gonna draw up some stuff. Because I don't have the materials I need. For yeah. That. So you, you're 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 gonna you're gonna start conceptualizing an idea. Maybe make a quick couple sketches. Nothing you think is final, but. You're making a little bit of progress on this. Did anyone get my one simple idea reference? No. It was a very incredibly obscure reference to like one tiny line in Inception, but it's a, a track on the soundtrack, so. R.I.P. me. It's, really? I, I'm not. Phil has been in Inception in years. Okay, so the, in the very beginning, when he's describing the the idea of Inception to the Asian guy, he calls it one simple, it was like one simple idea, but there's a track. It's like the second or third track of the soundtrack is called um, One Simple Idea. Ah, good to know. I don't know, nobody actually cares about that. I will take third watch if the twin, uh, the, if the siblings are... Taking first and second. I can take a watch. I think Ben said he was taking first watch. Yeah. Up to this point, Azalea will have been like trying to keep herself awake and like help out with setting up camp and stuff until it's like deemed acceptable that everyone else is going to sleep because she doesn't want to seem like she's being unhelpful, but she really doesn't feel very good. And it's kind Amari... of. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was done. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off at the very end. Amari will go up to Azalea, go to sleep. What are you doing? Actually, no, one, no one else has gone to sleep yet, so I want, I, I want to make sure I'm helping. And has everybody eaten and yes. had enough to drink? And Azalea, Azalea, no one else also fell off of a 15-foot ridge and, like, lost over half of, you know, their blood supply. Oh my gosh! She didn't lose half of her. Just as I was like, there. That was my last minute saying you for not saying hit points because 
Nobody What's a hit point? point? Nobody, nobody. Okay, but you're the only one who fell 15 feet and ended up with a horrible gash on your head and was also already fainting from heat exhaustion. Is it like just a blood geyser? <laughs> you're lying. Go to bed. I can. I can. Azalea. Help with Azalea. Azalea. To be... <laughs> Go to bed. Or right now, will... young lady. Don't make or me else... say it again. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to find the scorpion and chase you with it or something. I don't know. I probably won't do that. <laughs> so we're chasing a s- <laughs> <Is> there- <laughs> as, the, as the future queen of a completely unrelated country, I command you to go to bed. Aren't you running away from your Shut up. I thought you didn't want to be queen. <laughs> That's irrelevant. Go to bed. I, I just well, can't Everyone else wait. should go to bed too. Queen. I'm going to just walk away and like toss a blanket over her. <laughs> not even. <laughs> well, she's still just like, you're just like a little lump in the middle of a blanket. And it's just like... <laughs> Azalea. Azalea is now a ghost under <laughs> the blanket. Azalea. Ooh. As someone old enough to be your grandfather, let me give you the advice that when someone offers you a chance to leave work and get some sleep, you take it. If somebody gives you the chance to take a nap, you take your nap. As yeah. a grandpa, that's my specialty. <laughs> Azalea now like has this blanket wrapped around her shoulders like a cape. <laughs> what are you doing? <coughs> Again, the wind pushes out of nowhere against you from the east. Looking no, around again. Cold wind. Looking around again. Oh, you see it this time. Natural 20. So yes, I do. You turn to the east and you see there. You see a beacon in the distance. It's Meredith's beacon. You see... A blue dancing flame deep in the desert, higher than you. What is that? What's what? <laughs> <laughs> Azalea will describe it in great poetic detail. Does that sound no, like you're way too anything I've heard about before? Make a knowledge history. <laughs> Make a knowledge <laughs> check. If it's plainer, I can detect no. it by feeling sick. No. I'd like to roll knowledge history. Whatever. Uh, you yeah, yeah no you, you you can history might be useful local might be useful possibly I try, religion. I can try. I don't know which one do I have a higher trick on. I got an eleven on knowledge lokers local so no. Knowledge lurkers. <laughs> knowledge lurker. I can give local a shot. You, you, but, right, so you can, you can do history, local, or religion. Nineteen. Nineteen, alright. So, Azalea, as you're describing this, the idea begins to come to you. And, uh, you're not too far off. You're not too far behind her there. Is it, you're, start, you're starting to roll with her, uh, little man. What's your face name? Felix. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. What is your name? <laughs> space had the same name as the rest of him. His no, face. it's his own entity. His, face. his name is George. <laughs> so, George and Felix, you're just a step behind Azalea. <laughs> and you realize that... So... There's a legend about these parts. There is a legend that the Empress Round these here parts. Uh, that the that the long ago Empress of Jalbar, who was slain in single combat with uh, with the great Lord Varian, Lord of Tykingard on the shore of the inner sea. That after uh after her death, after her body had been paraded through the streets, after her people had been subjugated by a foreign power, after the humiliation of her house, after the second rise of this great empire, in this vast nothingness, there was a pyramid erected to her. 
uh, this was against the advice of uh, many of the ancient sages, because you just know that it was that it was considered wrong by many people. There's a, there was a famous speech given about it by a uh, by a court advisor. It was it, it's only famous because he was he was uh, killed spectacularly at the end of it. Mm. Uh, like in, guillotine spectacularly, uh, or like shot from a distance spectacularly, uh, like uh, lightning from heaven. As in, as in, he had a spear uh, stuck in his bottom end, and then he was thrown off the side of a temple. Oh my! Into a crowd of people. That's what you do, what? heretics. What? What was that? Nothing. Just quoting. Uh, you, so, Azalea, you would remember this. You remember reading about this. You don't know why it was considered such bad luck, but the, but this this pyramid was erected, and uh, many legends. Uh, it was built in the center of a ruined city that was meant to be symbolic to the uh, symbolic of the same. Collapse that would then face Jalbar at the hands of Lord Varian. Uh, you you know that this was the same city that those explorers were supposed to look for. Um, How does this relate to the light in the distance? Yeah. You know that their search. That uh, sort of the famous legend of a, in case you are ever lost in the desert, the lost city lies at the blue beacon. Guys, we're not technically lost. We're not Guys, technically lost. Yes. Is this? Do you think that we might have found the the lost city? What lost city? So Azalea will in brief but detailed explanation like explain the story and is slightly excited at find like the possibility of finding a lost city. Okay, she I think like that sounds cool. But she's also scared and tired. <laughs> scared and tired, you're describing my life. Does it does the beacon stay? Or does it go or does it fade? When the wind stops it fades. Okay, so like the, I like the idea of the lost city even though we just lost it again, but why would it appear to people, if it appears to people who are lost in the desert, we're not exactly lost, are we? Are we lost? Am I just going to look very concerned? You sound like my mother in the car. Are we <laughs> lost? <laughs> I mean, I thought we knew where we were going, but who knows what it thinks lost is, That's right? Actually, and I it's mean, really the where we are all kind of people with a big gaping gap of our memories, so maybe that could be a term of loss. And are we not also lost in the world since we did not come here of our own volition? That's what well, that's I think true. That's was saying. Yeah, so I think we count as lost. Interesting. Should we go and poke it? I mean, I don't think we should poke it right now. I mean, maybe not poke it, but I mean, I have to admit, Finding the ancient city from all of those legends would be kind of cool, even though, well, I mean, I really don't want to get eaten, and that's what happens to the adventurers and the story about it in the, the legend, but, I mean, it would be kind of neat if we didn't get eaten. Yeah. Okay. There would be stories about us, then. I wonder what happens if we signal back. What do you that's a good thought. Hmm. I flare yeah. as a spell. And if we're going to go to bed, it won't really matter that I use it because I can get. It was the same. Like I have out. light. Amari. I can turn myself into a human beacon. The blind child is a beacon. <laughs> <laughs> if, do we set him on fire? Is Wait. that what the fire is? What? That's a kind of thing. Really like he's gonna climb on top of a rock and start glowing really, really, really bright. Snap. What is wrong with you? <laughs> like we just like the whole area actually gets several steps lighter because of how bright really he looks. Weird. Okay, it reminds I'm... me of that guy from Sky High. What? His superpower is to glow. I have no idea what that is. Give it another. It give it another couple levels, and people standing next to me will be blinded when I do it. 
Sweet. Does that include us? Mm -hmm. Does that include us? It includes him. It includes anyone standing adjacent to me. Well, including <laughs> himself. <laughs> At the moment, right. you don't get blinded. It's just really bright. All right, so you make that signal. Which means I'm blind. And there's no response. Okay. So what if we go to sleep and we wait for the wind to appear again tomorrow because it was blowing also during the day and then we try and go towards the beacon? Just from a practical standpoint here, uh, do we want to go out to this beacon with limited food supplies? I... How far away no. is it? Really? That's a good point. How far away know. is it? I'm then? conflicted. I'm really tired, but I also think that this is super cool, but I also don't want to get eaten, but it, like, all the stories. Azalea. Yes? You're able to talk other things to sleep. Can't you talk yourself to sleep? Ooh! Fanny, there's no need to be rude. I am not being rude. Ah. I am implying that she must sleep. <laughs> I am not standing here, ready to keep watch for you guys to have a conversation. That's why I said we should go. We should get some rest, and then we can look at it in the morning. Amari, this one we're make, a little bit more rest. Amari, make a survival check. Okay, so can we get an idea of how far off this thing was at all? The, the, I have no idea. That's that it. All right, so Amari, by your estimate, by your estimate. This... Any of you make a joke about Gabrielle Miles, I will hunt you down and kill you. <laughs> you guess that this would be about a day's journey out and a day's journey back. But are those Andrew days? Shut up. <laughs> those... <laughs> May I say it? <laughs> those are twenty-four hour days, Suddenly... assuming eight days assuming you're traveling for eight hours a day. Okay. Suddenly the pink worm the pink purple worm comes and eats specifically you. <laughs> then, then... then that's how you die. <laughs> then mirrors carried off by Remember who does the most damage in battles. <laughs> then mirrors carried off by a particularly aggressive <laughs> badger that has gotten lost in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> According to Kira, the guy who glows in Sky High is named Zack. Cool. Yes. <laughs> I did not remember that, but that sounds accurate. So I mean, I'm glad someone else remembered that Disney movie. That's funny. Okay, so I think we sort of have a bit of a choice here. We could... I really do want to go and investigate it, and it almost feels as if something is trying to compel us to go that way, some sort of higher power. But we do have limited supplies, and by my estimates, it would be about a day there and back. And so then we still have higher to... power trying to force us there. I doubt it gives two craps if we go and get food first. Yeah, we can always stop into Telmana and then come back for it. I, I mean, if it's a lost city that's been entombed in legends, I highly doubt that it's going to stop being lost suddenly just because we start by a city. It Honestly, I don't give there. a flying rat's ass whether we do or don't. I've never seen a flying rat's ass. <laughs> <laughs> if you hunt it hard rat. enough. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I have punted scorpions. Usually it was screaming, because I was surprised. I don't give a flying scorpion. You know, maybe all this idea about adventuring is just because I hit my head. It's a little crazy. Maybe oh, I'll be thinking clearer in the morning. You were supposed to go to bed 20 minutes ago, Azalea. Are you guys giving me a bedtime now? Just because I'm shorter than you doesn't Good night. mean you're like a little kid. Good night, Azalea. Alright, so... As Azalea drifts <laughs> off to sleep with her arms crossed, <laughs> I'm going to leave the table. And so is Ethan, and Tasha, and Noah. That's the most overdramatic way you could have possibly <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Mute your mics, headphones off. We're doing a thing. Okay. What are we doing? I'm so confused. <laughs> All right, everybody off except for Harley? Everybody, yeah. Everybody? What's happening? <laughs> Noah, if you didn't have headphones, then just mute. Okay. All right, cool.
touched my deer azalea. You, a bit frustrated and slightly peeved, although a little bit touched that your friends are so concerned for you. You settle into your bedroll, and not none none too slowly. You would find yourself drifting off to sleep. And you fall into a series of somewhat abstract and fitful dreams. Your dreams tend to be ranging from highly adventurous and colorful to just bizarre happenings. And at first, this one doesn't start out any differently from any others. You, you have your usual series of like feeling like you're flying over the desert or what have you. But in the middle, as, as you're falling deeper and deeper into sleep, things start to change. Those dreams start to fragment. You find yourself in your mind's eye seeing where you were. The last time that you were, that you remember before you appeared in the desert, you see yourself wandering through the library, picking up books and putting them away. And many of the pages are blank. Oh my gosh. I'm trying, I'm trying to be dramatic, he's ruining it. That was really distracting. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> okay, pages. Hey, hey. Scram. Okay. I'm trying to have a dream here. <laughs> <laughs> so as you, as you page through the books, pages, they're blank. None of there are, the stories are gone. Everything, it, it, it's not right. Your library, it seems the same. It looks the same, but it's more shadowy. And it just doesn't make, quite make sense. It shifts and you find yourself standing again in the desert. You see your friends sleeping around you. Uh, you see them uh, just laying there, dreaming peacefully perhaps on their own. But you feel taller. You feel you find yourself standing, and you see you feel almost giant compared to them. You see them, and you all you feel a laugh, a laugh that's not quite your own, kind of bubbling in your throat. Creepy. It's strange, but it doesn't feel wrong. It sounds like you, but not. It doesn't feel like you. You look around at your friends, and they almost seem small compared to you. Once again, the dream shifts, and you see yourself standing among the dust methods, all of them standing behind you, your friends standing behind you, and you see the jackal there, bound and gagged again, kind of glaring at you as you stand triumphant over it. Its eyes are still heavy and drowsy, but it seems to be fighting the sleep that you've cast on it. And it struggles and it struggles and you point, you find your arm lifting to point at it. And you smile. You're mine. And it looks at you with a mixture of confusion and, and fear. Fear that you had never in the entire encounter never saw in its face. And, it, and you don't quite understand why it would be afraid of you. And then, as you turn away, you see, far, far away from you, a sort of dark speck on the horizon. And it seems to be pulsing with some sort of life and energy. And you, it has no face. But if something could smile without a face, that it would be smiling. And, it's, and it says, remember, remember where the power came from. And then it fades, it fades to nothing, and you find yourself dreaming as you normally would. Again, sort of soaring and having your, your usual dreams of floating or being back in the library. Uh, you, you pick up a book, and there's and the words are in it, and it's all crazy stories, the same type that you usually dream of. You know, once upon a time, there was an adventurer who lived in a toilet, or something ridiculous along those lines. And nice. The comfort of it washes back over you, and you find the dreams slowly fading as you fall deeper and deeper asleep. 
and eventually you wake in the morning with the dream. They sort of cling to the very back, back corners of your mind and all is well. All right. That's it. Okay. Yeah, come back now. Return. Hi, back. Return. You might need to message because I think Ethan's the only one on the keyboard. Oh, I know. I said, Noah sat down at the exact same time as you, and it was kind of awesome and coordinated. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Where... <clears throat> <Yeah. laughs> Disabled. <laughs> Maybe wave. I tried waving at people and they weren't looking. Okay, so I meant to write come back, Pete, and <laughs> it went horribly wrong. Hello. 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 Welcome back. So, I'm sorry that I called you guys Pete. <laughs> I meant to say Peeps and it just didn't. And of course it wasn't like P-E-A, it was P. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all just the squirts of pee, apparently. Quotes list. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's morning now. It's morning now. Andrew, you're muted still. Uh, it's morning now. <laughs> I think you mean Mother Hubbard. That's better. This is this is a family apart from Gabrielle, this is a family rated live stream. I think well, you might need to actually put me into the not family rated <laughs> section. You should probably put me in there too. <laughs> okay, fine. We're questionable for people under I mean, we're PG thirteen. Pretty yeah. family rated. Yeah, we're pretty family rated. We live it. Yeah. Yeah, we did just say that some guy got killed by a spear up his butt. I don't think that's quite family friendly anymore. What I refrained from saying it could be in the old that being in the desert was like being in an oven. I was like, oh, so like Tasha's cat. <laughs> what? How does that have to do with anything? You keeping your cat in the oven? I'm sorry. Is that a reference to something? Like yes. The, there's a Julian Smith video that it references. It's just meant to be like a dark joke. Oven cat do 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 oven cat do 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 Ta that does seem to be how cats work. Tasha is retained. No, Tasha is suggest. retained by Lewis. Cat is sassy. <laughs> no, he's not sassy. He's just imperious. I just know my place. I'm telling us that the cat is condescending. <laughs> he's mm. not. I just know my place. <laughs> huh. You don't have to. You don't have to meet the king and have the king be an asshole for you to know that you are a serf and he is a king. That's an interesting way to put it. The cat is naturally a surf. If it is not humanly <laughs> capable of cleaning up after itself, <coughs> that's just... when you have not lived with cats. That's what I'm saying. Dogs have masters. Cats have staff. That's what I'm saying. That's condescending because if you can't clean up, if you physically cannot clean up after yourself, that automatically disqualifies you from objective leadership. I agree to disagree. So, so, if, so let's say, if 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 if, 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 if you're a king. Who, who, let's, say, let's say you're like, like what if you're like a massively rotund monarch who's really good at being king, but like they can't really pick up after themselves. They can't really clean up after themselves. Well, we don't need to turn up. this into a debate. <laughs> <laughs> we can debate when we're not on the internet. The morning. They cannot the morning. The... Around to wipe their own butt. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Zillion... Breakfast. Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> What's me? Good morning, Philadelphia. <laughs> Good night, take you. <laughs> My name. <laughs> okay. I'll wake up. You wake up. You all wake up. 
It's, it's really you'd like to get rations out for everyone and make sure everyone's eating breakfast. Yes. Thank you, Moblin. <laughs> um, Felix is going to present Azalea with Ooh. her. Oh. You, you didn't seem to do well with the sun, so I, um, I made this for you last night. This is fantastic, Felix. Thank you so much. And the color is lovely. He's going to smile. <laughs> <laughs> and go back down to his breakfast, where he's going to sit down, stare at it a while, and then wrap it up and put it in his back. <laughs> if Azalea notices, she's going to tell him that he needs to eat. He's going to attempt to do so while she's not looking. <laughs> So, uh, while, while, while you folks are sitting there, you realize it is hot. It is hot with a capital H-O-T. Azalea you, is using her parasol. You feel the heat radiating up from the desert floor. Great. So are we going searching for a lost city, or are we picking up supplies first? Let's pick up some supplies first. That's would be my suggestion. Okay. All right. Uh, where you, where, where do you want to go get supplies? Presumably our original destination. All right. I mean, is anyone arguing with that? No. All right. So, uh, where where are you, where are you folks traveling? Come on, yeah. No, I I I know where you're going. How, 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 by which means are you attempting? Are you gonna stay up on top of the ridge? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Tasha. <laughs> well, I mean, we walked on the sand for a while last time, but maybe we should. Uh, I don't know. We walked on the sand for a lot of last night, so we could always w try walking on it now. And if the thing comes back, we just get back on the rocks, like we were going to do last yesterday. All you right. said that as night was falling, or that as the sun was setting yesterday, there was a shadow from the ridge on the side with the sand? Yes. If or rather, yes! <laughs> if we get down on the other side of the ridge in the morning, will the shadow be on us then? Yes! I vote we walk on that side of the ridge. Pardon me? I'm good with that. Alright, so uh, you guys sling down... This is this is harder going. This is legitimately harder going. Uh, so I'm gonna need you guys to make. Even though we're on the sand. So well, no, you're not on the sand. You're going on the gully side, because there's the sand, there's the ridge, the gully, and then up into the foothills. Okay. So you guys are in the gully side. So the gully side is gonna be a harder to work on the sand, but you're also gonna have to climb over rocks at some point that like go in between the ridge line and the foothills. Like, there's just gonna be some ribs. Like, it's not gonna be that bad. Like, it's not gonna be anything that requires a big-time check. It's just, you know, it's harder going than just walking straight on the sand. Is it enough harder going that it'd be worth it to just walk in the heat? Like, is it gonna slow us down a lot? It will slow you down. The question is, I, I don't know. Okay. Either either way, either way, you're gonna have to make fortitude saves. Right. Okay. It just kind of it just. I mean, it's 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 the heat. It's the heat versus the labor. Cool. Oh. It feels better on this side. I'll tell you that much. By the way, what stealth? What or what check was I making? Oh, fortitudes. Everybody needs to make a fort save. Ooh, nice. 19. 14. 14. Natural 1. 10. 10. 19. This is not going well. Alright, so anybody below a 15, you are fatigued, which means you have a minus 2 to all strength and dexterity based checks. Uh, and you, uh, you cannot sprint. If anyone looks like they're not doing too hot in the sun, I'll try to share my parasol with them. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Uh, it, as half your party tries to- oops, I didn't roll for Francis. 
Francis is joining you. The, at the moment, at the moment, there is all but two of your party is standing under this parasol. Correction, all but three. I wouldn't try. Oh, that's true. Okay. All right. Well, Azalea was trying to share, not be Also, 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 Azalea, you have you have you have advantage because you have a parasol. Okay. Natural twenty. <laughs> nice. Azalea is walking. Like, <laughs> what are we like? Just going. But especially, like especially over themselves to catch up to the parasol. Especially <laughs> Ven. Ven, you're actually the parasol has a fan under it. Ven, as you roll a natural one, you're also at a minus two for all skill checks. It's uh, you. If she feel... looks like she's doing the worst, I'll specifically try to share with her. Uh, the if other. I draw a glass I like of... fan her. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Thank you. So, uh, as oh, you guys... Are you drinking water? Kind of for a while. Are, you drinking, are you drinking water? You should have some water. It really helped yesterday. Felix, can you po could you possibly create some water for us? Yeah, Felix will shower people with water when asked. Is this the kind of, like, heat exhaustion that is going to make you start vomiting? You feel queasy. Oh, oh, oh. Just anything. Um, can I roll a heal check to see if there's anything what I can do, doing? like, to sure. see what we should do to help her? Sure thing. Uh, that is a 15. 15. Alright, you know, keep her in the shade, get some water in her. Okay. Try to oh. get her to keep, to keep down as much water as she can. Alright, I can get as much water as we need. I can generate it three gallons at a time, so... <laughs> <laughs> Azalea, will, Azalea will try to get her to drink it once he creates it. Down. Take slow sips. Okay, so take little sips. All right, let's make it. Let's make a fort save. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Seven. Seven. You. So you, you're. You're you doing keep down great. Seven gallons of water. <laughs> <laughs> You, you get you, you get to the bottom of a glass, and you go uh, a glass of like a you, you get like you get like to the end like halfway through the a, of a glass yeah you're like okay you feel fine and just then Azalea is walking over to you and says that wasn't so bad now was it and you open your okay. mouth to say yeah <laughs> just right on her shoes. <laughs> Can I make a reflex save to not puke on her shoes? Yes, yes, you can. Can I move out of the way? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you, you absolutely can. can. Reflex save to not have her shoes hit. Yes, that would be the way. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's a 12 on my part to try to avoid her shoes. Yes. And a 12 for me to try to do it out of the way. Uh, I'm, say I'm saying that's kismet. The two of you managed to psychically see this coming and both miss. You both, you both do what you're supposed to do. That was so close, and I'm so sorry. That looks awful. More water? <laughs> you see a maybe little piece of sausage. For a moment. Yeah, maybe we should pick a dice. <laughs> I'm going to go on ahead. All right, Fenmir, make a perception check for me, bud. Loving, caring family not. members, eh? <laughs> Maybe you should close your eyes for a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to... So, Felix is going to dig away the top layer of dirt or sand. Yeah. Um, because that's always heated by the sun, and the stuff underneath will be cooler from the earth. So have her sit on that, and then put the parasol above her so the heat isn't on her directly. Sure. Yeah. Thank you, guys. That's... Of course. That's a four on perception. Azalea's going to fan her lightly with, like, her... Whatever she has in her bag. Fenmir, you just see this ridge going unbroken into the distance. Okay. That makes me think there's a fall-off point and you're about to walk off of it. I'll only go about... Like, 150 feet out. Okay, it still looks the same to you.
All so right. when I get back, I'll tell so them. You, so you have a the very... The ridge seems to go on for miles. Is it still going in the correct direction? It appears to. Is that what we're expecting to see? Maybe we should just take a break. For a little bit, and then keep going. And... I don't know. Um, then... Maybe just give your give your stomach a, a second to settle and then try again. I know it probably doesn't feel good, but if you're vomiting, that also means that you're probably losing a lot of water. Mm -hmm. well, I was worried about it. Heat exhaustion is one of those yeah pounding things. Kind we need as water. much water in as we can get, so everyone should be drinking water. <laughs> I'll go stand under the stream of create water. Azalea is going to go around and make sure everyone is drinking. Does this create water have Giardia in it? <laughs> no, it is pure. It says in the spell, it's pure water. Cool. <laughs> Does that mean it's DI water? What? Yeah, probably. Distilled? Yeah. Deionized, actually. Which you use for, like, lab stuff. Yeah. What's the difference? Like, can you? I'm assuming you can. Uh, any, any. Why not? Uh, uh -uh. ions floating around the water have effectively been removed. Have what? It's uh, deionized. It's exactly yeah. what it sounds like. <laughs> I misunderstood what you said. It means you can't I iron I it. Like, I don't know that you can't drink it. It was just they always told us not to drink from ours because ours was nasty. I was always told not to drink DI water too, but I don't know why. Probably because they don't want to contaminate but. it. Partially, I think it also had something to do with the fact that it's not good for you entirely. That's okay. Yeah. That's what I heard too, but I don't actually know why it's not. I, I'd have to check. I have a hunch, but anyway. All back right. To so game. back to game. Uh, your ailing party is in the gully. As you guys are. Uh, as you guys are sitting there, you guys again feel a breeze pushing at you. But this time it's a little bit shorter. It's just for about two seconds this time. Do we see the weekend again? No. Is it from the same direction? Yes. Which seems impossible as there's a ridge right honking there. <laughs> Can I perception check to see if anything's different? Sure. Never mind. That was like a seven. So unless what's different is giant and honking and big enough for even Felix to see, <laughs> I did not perceive. <laughs> I I have to admit I've gotten into a bad habit. Like I don't know how many people watch watched old Pokemon. Like my thought is like they Felix walks around like Brock. But whenever he makes a perception <laughs> check, he like opens his eye. There's <laughs> like these two little, like pencil points. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, Azalea, you do notice that Thinmere is like taking like a really quick sip of the water and then putting it away. Okay. Thinmere, are you sure you're drinking enough? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? Because it doesn't really look like you yeah. were and I really hate for you to be not feeling well and have more problems and then you might throw up and then it'll get worse. So really, please, please be drinking more. It's, it's sure not that you're not feeling to well. Taking your guts up, then? What? I said, you sure you don't want to join me puking your guts up then? Mm, yes, I'm quite sure, but I don't think I will. So... Please, please drink some more. I'll take another quick sip of water. 
All right. Keep yeah. sipping at it, please. All right. So, what do you what, what do you folks want to do? I mean, give her like an hour to rest in the shade. Yeah, let's take a look. Like, can and we then, make? It? Oh, sorry. While rehydrating, and then give her the parasol and keep going. Yeah, you know, we could make a short rest of it. Good. We may want to, um, since we do in fact have someone who can see in the dark and could guide us. Yeah, I wonder if you want to switch to moving at night. night. That's actually Wait. fairly standard for desert travel. That would you be advisable. Yeah. What do you say? Travel at night because it's not as hot. Yeah, that might be worth it. Relatively standard for desert travel, I believe. Or it was when, yeah. you know, before planes and trains and automobiles. Air conditioning. What are those things? <laughs> I love air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, no, maybe we maybe we try and go a little bit further if you're feeling better, just so that we maximize our supplies because you know, we're if we if we wait until night at this point, we're going to. Well, what time of day? Entire is? days. It's it's about ten eleven in the morning. So, if we were to rest here, we could have basically a long rest by dark, and then we could travel through the night instead. Yeah. You if certainly we, do like, that. Napped and ignored being hungry. We could do that. I mean, you have eaten today, so you're so you're not going to have starvation effects yet. Right. We can basically nap, eat dinner when we wake up, as our sort of breakfast. What would have been our dinner? And that, our breakfast. and that's, and, and that'd be your second. Would have dinner. been our breakfast as our dinner. And that way, we've got the same meal schedule, but we switch to nighttime travel. So, okay, so you've already used one day. So now this is your second day. You're spacing out differently. No, it doesn't change. Yeah. It doesn't change the days. It doesn't change the days at all. Right. Because you, you, you had breakfast, then you're gonna get up. You're gonna yeah. have food. Then you're we, gonna, exactly. You, our, our rations would last the same amount of time. We're traveling the same amount of time per day. Yeah. So nothing would change with our trip schedule. Yeah. Well, no, I was just saying since like we didn't eat in the middle of last night, if we're not eating much no, you, you, tonight. No, you guys, you guys ate dinner tonight. You, last night you ate breakfast. This morning. But then we're not going to eat something, anything, until tonight again. Right, dinner. Right, and that's that's your first day and your second day. Then you still have your third day. It's just the schedule is flip flopped. Breakfast and dinner right. are just being called different things, which is a massive concern. Poor Azalea, though, is living on only two meals a day. Yes. I know. So hungry. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of hungry right now. I am too, actually. Me too. I can eat the rest of that sushi I made. No. Don't. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Why not? So how are you feeling right now, Harley? Significantly better, actually. Well, I'm glad to hear that, at least. Now, Tosh is... Now, Tosh is going to rest, Red Eagle himself in the sun. In the sun? I worry about that boy. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say that out loud in the middle of camp. <laughs> um, Felix, maybe you should go in the shade? No. Don't you think that you're gonna get a little, you know, warm? Or burnt? Or... I like, the, I like the sun. It gives me energy. Okay, well, you need to sleep so that You're not can... a plant! The amount no. of times I've had to say that to people is depressing. <laughs> you should really go in the shade. No. <laughs> okay. Felix, like I right. really think it would be a wise choice to perhaps rest in the shade. Felix, why do you want to go in the shade? And why don't you eat much? Well, I don't I don't know. I'm asking. You did say that the sun gives you energy. It does. What does that mean? I, I, I get energy from the sun. Why are you being so weird? Most of us <laughs> don't get energy from the sun. 
Are you special? I get energy from spending time by myself. <laughs> <laughs> introverts. <laughs> some people are introverts, some people are extroverts, some people are solar verts. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, Felix, actually, though, are you actually, are you a human? Yes. <laughs> so, do you just... Do you, like, not eat, like, eating? I, I enjoy eating. So how come you don't eat much? I don't need... I, I get full. I, I don't get... I'm not hungry. Why not? I get hungry, and I'm also a human. Okay. I like pot roast. So why don't you? <laughs> Did you say I like Pop-Tarts? Pot roast. Pot roast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. Um, I, I, I just don't... Um, he's going to look extremely uncomfortable. Is that the same reason? So then why... Also, what is the deal with this one thing? How come you don't go in this shit even though everyone else around you... Most of the people around you are also starting to get sick. I, I just like the sun. He's going to get up and walk off. That was really tactful. Wait, we, did, we didn't mean to upset you, Felix. You tactful. I didn't say anything wrong. Did I? No, you did, though. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm not very good at talking to people, which is also part of why some people don't think I would make a very good queen, in case you haven't guessed. You mean so you? Okay, but also other people. I mean, Felix is also a teenager. They tend to get huffy with people. <laughs> 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 this is true. So as I'm Felix... Aware. You say they tend to get huffy with people as though we weren't teenagers <laughs> years ago. I live with 26 of them, I'm aware. <laughs> as Felix storms off to become with nature... Bless you. And as then slowly... Then looks at her brother and goes, He's like you were when we were kids. Mm. And as Those were not the days. And as the rest of the party <coughs> melts slowly. <coughs> Good heavens, Tasha. And sneezes themselves to death. They begin sneezing convulsively for their worse than your situation. He's <laughs> having a bad day, isn't he? We drift. Tasha is reverting to being allergic to her cat. They drift. Take her allergy pills today. That explains a lot. Andrew didn't take his stomach pills today. That would also probably explain yeah. a lot. So as as Tasha, not Tasha, as the party, which is made up of more people than Tasha, and made up of fake people versus real people, mm -hmm. slowly drift into the the restless limbo of daylight slumber uneasy shifting in their heads the strange wind at their backs and they know that they are out in the desert that they are now trapped in the great wide open good night everybody <laughs> that's where we're gonna end we're trapped in the great wide open what? I feel like we didn't get anywhere. <laughs> we kind of we walked <laughs> a lot. You mean, yo, know, <laughs> session title, the one where we walk. I like Trapped in the Great Wide Open. It's a good session title, Andrew. Thank you. I I have Into the Great Wide Open, which is a, which is a Tom Petty reference, but Trapped in the Great Wide Open sounds better. The what? So the one where we're trapped in the Great Wide Open? I'm not doing the one close, where we. Oh, do we have quotes? Do we have quotes, actually? Oh, yeah, we have a couple. Mm -hmm. How many is a couple? Let me find the quotes list. We have five quotes. Nice. Back to form. Okay. Wow. You take the first one? All right. I'm not just stealing toys from a child. I'm stealing <laughs> toys from a blind child. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, eat the blind kid. Tasha. <laughs> this is a very tight B butt, Gabrielle. Eating is important. You should all eat at least six meals a day. <laughs> Azalea. Roll a knowledge <laughs> check, Andrew. And that is all we have for tonight. Well, Kira, 
Scott. Thanks for watching. Our fans. We have fans now. We have multiple fans. Yeah, you can put an S on that word now. <laughs> uh, thank you for we watching. We added an extra letter today. Thank you. We added a, thank you so much. Uh, I, and I'm thinking that now we have fans. Maybe we should do like a midweek recap. No. <laughs> for all two of them. <laughs> In case you, for, you spontaneously forgot halfway through the week what happened. I'm right. not opposed to that. But I don't know. It, 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 Wednesday, you know. Wednesday recap. You should just do videos where, like, in each with each of us individually, see that are like explaining our character for the fans. That's a we great idea. We we thought about doing we, that. So. Do you think you'd be opposed to doing like one Wednesday video a week, like one Wednesday live stream, just like of some variety? Yeah, it doesn't have to be everybody. No, it doesn't have to be everybody. Heads, just... heads up, Wednesdays anything before like eight thirty is rough for me. I don't it's think fine. we should do necessarily a live stream, so much just a video. I'm okay with that sometimes, but not every week. Same. I yeah. have that time to do Kira says, today's session is brought to you by the letter S. <laughs> but, well, wow. Wednesdays are kind of rough like for me. Some okay. sort of Sesame Street song. Why don't we do the logistics of that? Yeah, why don't we not worry about that, but it's a great idea. Hopefully you folks will get that. Um, we're still streaming, aren't we? Oh, yeah! Uh, yeah, alright, so, Kira, Scott, Internet. Wait, we can only say goodnight to Kira, remember? Right. Good night, Kira. Good night, Kira. Goodbye, everyone else. <laughs>